Did you ever want to make a custom Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 version? Well, you've clicked on the right video. Stick around if you want to see how to do it yourself. Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you, yes you read the title correctly, we're gonna show you how to make a custom Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 version and without further ado, let's go. First of all, you obviously need an ISO one of these versions. For example, for the demonstration for this video, I have a Windows 10 22H2 ISO that I have on my desktop and you will need NT Lite. So, I'm going to download the stable version and the 64-bit version. And we can see that it supports Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit version, live or images. This also supports servers, which is pretty nice. If you want to make a custom Windows server version, you can do that. And the ARM64 images in the alpha stages, that's in development, but it does not support these versions. If you want Windows XP, you can get Enlight, and I made a tutorial on how to make a custom Windows XP version, it'll be up in the cart, but let's just run the setup from here. This is a pretty straightforward installation, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time in that. And let's launch anti light. And now let's just extract the contents of the ISO or just mount it, but it, it works easier to with just extracting the contents. And we let extract. So here we can just see free. We can do the free version. Or we can do a license if you want, you can activate it and renewal, which I'm just going to. I'm gonna go with the free version because that'll do our job just fine. And here I'm. This is extracting, so it should be good to go in about in 30 seconds or to a minute. So I'm just going to wait for that. I'm going to refresh my desktop. And here we go. So. I'm going to close my browser and now we want to add an image directory and now I'm just going to go to my desktop and go to the Windows 10 22 h and select the folder and here we have a lot of options here we have we can um, so we have the all of the additions in the ISO here so for the demonstration I'm going to choose the pro and now click on load Yes, so this is very important. So we're going to load this thing, and yes, we can see the date has been changed in like December of 2022. But wait for this thing to load, it'll take a few minutes, so just we'll wait for that. Alright, so that took a while, but okay, once loading is complete, we're gonna click on OK. And it should complete. Hopefully this one will be much faster than the previous one, but we'll wait. Alright, so we have finally loaded this thing, and now we can... Let's start... Now we can see that we can integrate the latest update, so if you want that, we can do that. We can also integrate drivers, which is not bad at all. 
that will become you know you know useful in the future if you want to install this thing 20 years after this video we can modify some things to the registry which won't be very bad but but what I'm interested in is the components so we can just now I will recommend you disconnect your internet before doing this which that's what I'm gonna do now we need to click on OK since I've disconnected my internet and now we can move the drivers I don't wanna mess up with the first two or three options and now we can remove the languages and we need to uncheck all of them now we can just this is like really good if you want to make a custom image but I'll just go briefly for all of these I don't want to spend a whole lot of time I'm going to disable Internet Explorer because who, who uses it today we can okay, this nice okay now this is my favorite thing uh, in the system and the applications we can literally remove anything we want for example I'll remove some stuff now it's time to remove a I'm going to re remove every single app for the demonstration yes yes I literally removed every single app from this but but I'm interested to see what will become we can also remove some schedule tasks here so in this video I'm just trying to make a super lightweight version of Windows for example now we can for example install some features for example Hyper-V or we remove the media features like for example remote desktop like literally anything we want that that's what I love about this now we have all other stuff for example we have auto reboot on blue screen which which won't be very bad now for example we need to for example show all of these All the icons and control panel and enable the dark mode. You know, we can just make the icons like super large if we want to. We can just disable a lot of stuff here. For example, it's what we can disable from the start menu. This is what I love. Let's see if we can disable the user account control. Which technically we can. Which will set that to disabled. So have Windows update, for example, if you want an automatic update. Or if you just don't want any updates, you can do that. These are services, uh, I'm not planning to touch them. Now we can do other stuff, so. I'm going to click on enable here, so we can we have a lot of stuff here. For example, I'm going to disable the EULA page, which is the end user license, license agreement, which we need to be true. Skip local account setup. So I, rec I will disable the Microsoft account here. And the wireless setup as well. Okay, we have skip the user out of box experience. I'm gonna do that. I wanna make this as simple as possible. We can just put all literally put our own preferences for this. Which you can see by this. It won't be bad to do it, for example. All the operating system, yes, we can we can compress the OS. I wanna make as light as possible and definitely skip the EULA page. We can put 
in a product key while doing this. Let's do the computer name. Light. And we can put in a product key if we want to. Let's see what we can do. Post setup. Don't see anything. And we can go to apply. And first, I'm going to remove all of the additions and the image format is going to be the whim and let's, okay we got a lot of stuff in here the saving mode we can save the image and, rem and trim the additions and let's see here let's go to create ISO so this will just ask us where we want to apply the ISO and we're gonna name it for example Windows 10 22H2 ST demo because this is just for demonstration and the label is going to be win 10 ST demo and we click on OK and I'm just going to check everything really quick to see if I if I did everything as I want and once we are done we can click on process and we can disable Windows Defender which would be bad to do and now here is Windows Defender I'm going to disable it for faster you know making ISO Manage settings and asks me to disable Windows Defender, which I will do. I don't recommend it. And I'll click on yes. And done. This will do all of our things that we wanted to do. Look, we have removed 80 components, and just this will wrap it up for today's tutorial. And yeah, once you have, are done, you can just install it anywhere that you want and we'll see how. It'll do and yeah that was all for today's video if this helped you make sure you have liked this video subscribe turn on the notifications watch these two next videos i'm going to put up on the screen and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye <laughs>